Hi everyone. Um, so this is a video for people at the blind school in Hebron and I wanted to introduce myself. My name's Nick Bilborough and I am the founder and the coordinator of a charity called the Hands Up Project. Hands up! And the charity works with children and young people in Palestine and we tell stories in English and we help young people in Palestine to tell their stories. And today I wanted to show you a few things. I'm here in the countryside in England and I'm really close to where my mum lives. And this is the place where I grew up when I was a child, long, long time ago. And it's spring. And wow, you can just see a swan coming across the lake behind us. And I thought I'd just let the video play for a little while and not say anything and just see what you can hear. There are so many beautiful sounds of spring. I'll just see what you can hear for a minute. So I can hear birds flapping their wings. I can hear birds singing. I can hear some lorries in the distance moving on a road. I can hear a pigeon. Wow, now I can hear a bee buzzing very close by. I don't know if you can hear that. And I can't hear a swan, but I can see a swan on this lake behind me. And I've just seen a dog as well, and a person walking with a dog. So spring is a lovely time of the year. And... Um, I've brought a couple of things along to show you and to tell you about as well. So I wonder if you can guess what they are. They are two things which remind me of Palestine and which I bought in Palestine. One of them is a very beautiful thing. It's round and it's practical, it has a practical use. You can eat from it, you can put food on it. And it's something which I actually put on my wall, hanging on my wall. It's very beautiful. It's black and red and green and yellow and blue. Wow, that's a swan. Could you hear that? That's a swan just coming in. And I think the swan is gonna come right over to us. Maybe the swan wants to see what I've got in my bag. Um, and it's very beautiful and it's got written on it in Arabic. It's got the word written Allah. And this is actually from Hebron. And I saw these things being made in the ceramic factory in Hebron. And I saw people working in a very hot place. Can you see the swan? It's just put its head underwater. 
to get some food. <laughs> so here is the plate, and I love this. Is that the right way? Yes, it is. Allah. And I love the colours in this. I love the patterns, the beautiful colours and the beautiful Arabic writing. And when I look at this plate on my wall, it always reminds me of Palestine. And when it reminds me of Palestine, it makes me feel proud and happy and connected. So thank you very much. And if you would like to make a video of something similar, then please do that. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you is something also from Palestine. And it's this doll. And this is very beautiful too. It's from Jalazone refugee camp and it's made of olive wood, beautiful polished olive wood. And it's a doll of a woman wearing traditional Palestinian dress. And it's yellow and gold and orange and green. And it's hand sewn. And she's got a white veil and gold on her um, what would you call that? Her kind of hat. It's got gold on it. And the interesting thing about this is that she has no face. And I don't know if that's, she's got no eyes, no mouth, no nose, uh, no ears. And I don't know if that's, if I like that or not. I suppose it's saying lots of Palestinians have been denied a face um, by the world. They've been denied the right to tell their stories and the right to share who they are. Um, so maybe that's the message of the doll. But it's very beautiful anyway. And it, again, it's something that reminds me of Palestine. So if you would like to make a video, that would be great. And if you would like to talk about something that means something to you in the video, that would be even better. Really nice to meet you. Bye.